Argo CD is arguably the most popular GitOps controller out there right now. So what I wanna do is I wanna showcase some comparisons around installing Argo CD and setting it up with DevTron, okay? So first things first, you're gonna to wanna to install the Argo CD CLI. Now, the reason why is because to deploy your first application, for example, you're gonna to wanna to log into the CLI. You're gonna to need to be able to be logged into the CLI at any point, or you can set up something like SSO, which is of course a beast within itself. So first things first, you're gonna to wanna to go and install the CLI. Now, once the CLI is installed, you can start the overall installation, okay? So you're gonna see two different ways to install. First, a standalone Argo CD environment. Next, a high availability environment. So I usually like to go with a high availability environment, especially in production, right? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run this configuration. And this is gonna install everything that's necessary for Argo CD to run from the controllers to the CRDs. All right, now that that's installed, let's just go ahead and confirm. I installed it in the default namespace, kubectl, we have pods. All right, and we can see a couple of things are kind of getting up and running here, but we see our overall configuration. Now, the next thing is you're gonna have to pull the secret. Now, this is the secret that you can use to log into the CLI and to the GUI, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a port forward on the Argo CD service here. All right, and then now what we can do is we can go to the GUI and go ahead and paste that in here. All right, and then we do our login come back to the terminal. So again, already a ton of steps that we have to take, right? Let's go back to the GUI again, do our login, and now we're logged in via the UI or the GUI. So now what we need to do is we need to log in via the CLI. Now these steps here, this is just for if you have other clusters that you wanna manage. So if you have other clusters that you wanna manage, you gotta add them all in this way as well, right? So to log in with the CLI, we're gonna run Argo CD login with the URL. And in this case, cause we're exposing it locally, I'm gonna do this. Now, this is uh, another thing that, that comes up here. We're just doing the installation quickly, but in production, you're gonna have to think about things like SSO. So who's logging in, right? Because you're not just gonna give everybody this admin password and of course you're gonna change it and everybody's gonna have their own configuration. So this is just with one user. Next is certs. So we can see certs here, for example, uh, where we would have to actually use a production level SSL cert, but we don't have that. So we're gonna click yes. Default username is admin. And then we can go ahead and use the same password. All right, and we are logged in. So now if I go back to the GUI, we can see our GUI configuration is here. And then we can also see our CLI configuration is here. And then we can go ahead and we can deploy an app. So just as an example here, we can use the Argo CD app create command. Uh, in production, you'll probably want to use the declarative way. So you can use the object or the resource called application or application stack. So we're just gonna use the CLI and we're gonna do a quick installation here, All right? And this installation is done. So we'll go back here and we can see our app pop up. So that was pretty fast. Uh, number one, I already had all the commands, right? I did all the research, I popped them in. But regardless, it still took about four minutes or so to actually get up and running. And again, that wasn't even with SSO, production level certs, anything like that. So now I wanna see the same steps and processes to get Argo CD up, but if we do it with Devtron. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna copy this, except I'm going to just do a delete so we can start fresh here. All right, we'll go ahead and we'll clear the screen and then we'll do the installation for DevTron. So all you have to do, add the Helm repo, update it, 
run the helm installation and you can see here it sets two things ci cd and argo so if we go ahead and if we run that we'll let it do its thing from an installation perspective and that's installed so if we run kubectl get ns you see how we have this argo namespace kubectl get all namespace argo we can now see our Argo configuration right here. And that's it. That's literally all we have to do to get Argo CD up and running. No various commands, nothing like that. We literally just enable it in DevTron. And then what we can do is we can pull the password here. We'll do kubectl, get service, namespace, DevTron CD. And then we're gonna see this DevTron service with this IP address. So let's head over to the browser, go to that IP address. Then if we log in as administrator, skip this for now, but if we go to DevTron stack, we can see Argo is installed and CICD is currently installing. So Again, this process is way faster and way more fluent than having to go through the terminal to get Argo CD up and running.